Hi families, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn in assignments on Google Classroom. There are three different scenarios that you might encounter while turning in assignments, and they look a little bit different on a computer or Chromebook versus how they appear on a tablet. So I will show you all three scenarios on the computer view first, and then I will show you all three of the scenarios in the same order um, with how they will look on a tablet second. So stay tuned for the whole video if you're interested in seeing both formats. So right now I'm viewing an assignment that doesn't have any kinds of Google Docs attached for you to complete. This assignment just has a list of tasks to complete. So it says on Friday, please click the mark as done button so that I know that you have practiced retelling your story. So if there's nothing for you to attach, you have a few different options. Um, if you have a picture or something to attach for your teacher, you can click this button to attach it. If not, when you are done with your assignments, you can click mark as done so that your teacher knows that you are finished with your work. This assignment looks a little bit different and has a Google Doc attached, so I have two different options. I've went ahead and I've opened the Google Doc in a separate tab, so I have my Google Doc here, I can type my work, and I can either click the turn in button right here in the document or when I'm finished, um, I can go back to the assignment description and click the turn in button right here. And then of course you can unsubmit just like normal. This assignment has me working in a Google Slides presentation, so I've opened it in another tab as well. I can complete my work and I do not see a turn in button at the top. So when I'm done working, it will auto save and I can go back to my assignment description and click the turn in button. On a tablet, if you're viewing an assignment with nothing to hand in, you can um, swipe up at the bottom and then when you are ready to complete your work or let your teacher know that you're done, you click the bar that appears at the bottom and mark as done. Again, you can always click unsubmit if you realize you forgot something or you need to comment to your teacher. If you have a Google Doc assigned um, or attached on the tablet, then you can swipe up at the bottom and you'll get to see your attached document. If you click the document, you will be able to edit right within the Google Classroom app. In the top right hand corner, the little magnifying glass on the page will let you search the document. The pencil will let you edit and then the little square with the arrow will open it in the Google Docs app. When you're all done, you need to X in the left hand corner to close out the document and then click the turn in bar. Again, you can unsubmit if you need to revise your document. If you're viewing an assignment on Google Classroom that has a Google slide attachment, you can swipe up to see that attachment, click it to open it. It will open, open it right within the Google Classroom app. And again, you can click um, the pencil to edit the document. However, it does not edit the same way within the Google Classroom app. You can write on the document and do a few different things, but if you have to drag and drop items, you will need to click the square with the little arrow in the top right hand corner and it will edit much better in the Google Slides app. When you're all the way done, you can click the X in the top left hand corner and then the turn in button to let your teacher know that you are finished with your assignment. 